Holler is intended for mature audiences only, so your mom is definitely invited. Sometimes controversial, always engaging. It's the podcast that lets your voice be heard. It's the podcast that shouts you out. It's time to holler. Can you dig it? You could eat a unicorn one day through a pop tart. I like toaster shoes. You like the dizzy part? Yeah, I like the way it explodes. You in like my it? Mouth. And to swallow it down. Oh my god! Your tweets, snaps, Facebook comments, and even phone calls. Holler any way you want. They used to give kids opiates to keep them quiet. This is much <laughs> less offensive than that. JD, Brian, and Gracie, holler at your boys. Hey, it is what it is, ladies and gentlemen. We're on the internet, and it's such a wonderful time. All our brackets are busted, and that's what it is. That's it's just who, who, who is who's the voice? Who, who's the announcer? That would be Brandon Wollum. I thought I recognized that. <laughs> You're right. I in figured you'd think that would be sound familiar. Yeah, we're getting uh, a little local Brent, flavor in there. Brandon, the Woolham's in Nashville. Brandon and I were in uh, marching band together. Oh, really? right. At Huntington High. Yeah. Nice. That's wonderful. Well, ladies and gentlemen, welcome to Holler. It's uh, it's the show that shouts you out. You hang out with us on the internet, and that's what we do. My name is JD. Uh, this direction up here is Brian. Uh, how you doing, Brian? What's up, dude? Uh, things are great. I drank this entire beer during the intro right there, so I'm off to a hot start this evening. I was just a little bit thirsty uh, this evening. And um, guys, uh, we've got a great guest. Uh, and you're right, by the way, brackets are busted. Uh, basketball is happening as we speak. As a matter of fact, I'll have to look and see the latest update because I'm not really sure uh, who just won or just I don't care anymore. Found yeah, up. yeah, uh, whatever. Um, but those of you that were expecting to see uh, Lee Pennington, she had to bow out uh, personal reasons. No big deal. We have an awesome replacement, Michael Valentine's, with us this evening. Michael, what's up? How you doing, man? What's up, guys? Michael, I, I, just, no. Michael, I just learned something about you in that intro. What's up? Yeah. This is this. You know, you guys have to understand out there in Holler Nation. Um, you guys have to understand that you know we have a little pregame before the show starts, and Michael's a last-minute replacement, so we were just kind of uh, talking a little bit. But I was like, man, let's just go live and be organic. But the second that you said that you were in marching band with Brandon Woolen, <laughs> do you do you realize do you realize that means that we all went to school together, like all of us? Do you realize that <laughs> at the same time? Yes, yes. You want to know why? Were you guys at Huntington High? You want to know why? Because yeah. I've known Brandon Woolham since I was in middle school. We're the same age. We graduated together. We went to Marshall and graduated together. We lived together through college. Um, and uh, same with JD. And uh, you know what's funny is, and my girlfriend, she's on me all the time about this, or, or I mean, we like laugh about this because the school that we went to is so large. I always joke with her and I say, when we graduated, I sat next to a person I had never met in my entire life when we graduated. And that just blows my <laughs> mind because she graduated with like with like a hundred people or something. And usually people chime in. graduated and, with like, like 600 something? Yeah. No, we, we had, we had slower closed. than that, but it's still a lot. We had a little over 420, something around yeah. that that we graduated with. But you know what's crazy? What's crazy is I'm saying this and I'm like looking at Michael's face and he's like, not believe me. He's like, we we know each other. We went to school oh, together. Yeah. We'll prove it. We'll prove it. We'll prove it later. Anyway, uh, Michael Valentine. Should we get out the yearbook? Uh, don't what, worry. Wait, I'm not one. Did y'all graduate? <laughs> <laughs> oh, yeah. It's going. Oh, yeah. Go ahead, dude. Uh, Michael Valentine's here. He's here to promote a wonderful cause. Oh, it's the that's the thing. It's that's it. it. Okay, it. Right. In here? we're gonna talk about this a little bit later. But before we do anything, <laughs> we have to talk about why Michael is here. Michael is uh, co-hosting with Lee, uh, who uh, was going to be here earlier, but uh, we had to flip it, and that's how it goes. Um, Miranda, by the way, says Gracie is gone. Who do I send my dick pics to? Oh, that's too much testosterone is what she said. Uh, so Michael's here. Michael's here to promote a, a wonderful cause. It's called Live to Save Lives. We're going to talk about that. We're going to let him do a whole spiel about it. We're going to give you all the details. It's a wonderful concert. As a matter of fact, if you don't uh, completely remember, if you're a follower of Holler, if you're a hollow follower, no, Holla, <laughs> 
Actually, I mean, so not too long ago, they had to change. They had to change the date of the show because of COVID precautions, which is totally fine. But the show's coming up. It's free to the public. It's in Ashland, Kentucky, at one of the most amazing places called the Paramount Arts Center. Everybody around there should know it. Uh, we're going to talk all about it. But before we do, a look at this. Is it going down? Where are we at, it's man? Going down <laughs> up at this, but there he it is. is. It's Brian Ball. Who's <laughs> in the place to be? I'll be okay. damned. We went to school together. <laughs> uh, all right. We're talking about it here in a bit. But before we do, we got to do a toast and we got to do. Uh, all right, are we doing a show? We got to keep the show off for real. <laughs> yeah, yeah, we're going to do that, by the way. So oh, uh, Sorry, I didn't hear anything you said for the past five minutes. I've just been looking <laughs> totally at your book. Yeah, I know. It's like mind blowing. I know. Right. So uh, raise your glass if you're out there in Holler Nation. I'm just going to keep chugging beers is what I'm going to do. I'll lead the way with the Holler Toast. Let's kick this show off. Let's talk about live to save lives. But every time you look at it, it looks like live to save lives, but it's live to save lives. Hell yeah. We're excited to promote this show. It's Everyone to get there. Um, Holler Nation, raise a glass. And here we go. Uh, I got to say, shout out to old people. Otherwise, they couldn't hear it. <laughs> Link up at officialholler.com. That's pretty good. That's pretty good. <laughs> Ladies and gentlemen, that goes down smooth. Hang, hanging out with us uh, at uh, uh, officialholler.com. We are proudly powered by Camo Complete Energy. It's the most amazing, locally sourced, kick-ass, zero sugar, zero carb, complete energy source, 250 milligrams of uh, caffeine. Wonderful flavors. You can find it in all the stores around your area if you're all up in this Appalachian region. Expanding through the entire country as we go. Uh, check out camoenergyshots.com. Buy some stuff from them. Tell them Holler sent you. We got you on deck. Yo. Hey, let me take this time to say if you're tuning into this show right now and you're looking at these energy shots and saying, what the hell are these? I've never seen these before. Let me tell you, these are about to I'm take over, that. especially. Yeah, if you're in the local area, you're going to see them all over counters, uh, every gas station and, and little convenience store that you go in. But they're also going national. They're already in different states like Florida. They're across the Midwest. They're taking over Chicago next, and they're just going to keep going from there. It's a wonderful yeah. company from right here in Huntington, West Virginia, camoenergyshots.com. But if you're just now looking at this and you're curious about it, I want to send you some. And by I, I mean we at Holler. So we are going to send you these for free, free 99. You don't have to do anything other than share this live video feed no, to no, your no. Facebook wall right now and then take a screenshot and DM us. Show us that you're sharing this show. And then when you DM us, make sure you include your mailing address. We're going to ship you some for free. It's that easy. We want you to taste it. Camo wants you to taste it. Boom, in your mouth. Full variety pack coming to your place. Just share the show. Send us a DM showing us that you did it. Just give us a screenshot, letting us know that you did it. Boom, you've got it. CamoEnergyShots.com. It's the place to go. It's the place to be. But there's another website we're going to push you at here in a little bit. And before we do that, we'd like to just... Uh, uh, give a big shout and and a, and, and a nice little uh, round of applause for Michael Valentine. Ladies and gentlemen, yeah. The last second fill in, Michael Valentine, our old schoolmate. Our old schoolmate yeah. that, 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 that oh, we boy, just figured out. We had some good times, uh, didn't we? we Not did. together, but. Sure glad, to see you. glad to see you again, man, after all these years. <laughs> can we, before we start reminiscing, uh, can, can we talk about, Michael, if you don't mind, can we talk about this uh, fantastic show that's coming up here on Friday, April 8th? That's not next week. That's the week after that. That's two weeks from now, if you're listening to this yeah. live. But it's Friday, April 8th. It's at the Paramount Arts Center. What's going on there, Michael? Give us the fucking rundown, dude. Yeah, you, have you guys heard about this? You guys heard of Arlen McKinley, right? Oh yeah. Oh. How about a free, how about a free concert at the Paramount, the beautiful Paramount Theater? More free things Ashland. on the show. Yeah. Still listen to this. Uh huh. Are you listening? No. Yeah. Arlen McKinley, Hello June, and it's all to the tune of saving lives through organ donation. I'm going to be co-hosting with Lee Pennington. What, what, what do you want to know? What do you want me to tell you? How do you what get do you a want, job? What do you want to know? 
What do you want to know? A Guess job? what? How do I get a job like that? Yeah. No. <laughs> so this is, so this is it's it's called it's called live to save live lives. To save lives. Yeah. Um, this is a so, concert. Here, what, what what specifically is this promoting? What what's the point of this show? Uh, well, so Lee Pennington, who was supposed to be here, and I'm filling in for her. She works uh, for the uh, for the organ donation place, the the Coda. You know this Kentucky organ donation affiliates donor yeah. affiliates. Yes, I've, I've always seen it. it was, Donate life was the campaign I would always right. see. Donate life, which is. Let me like, ask you this: Are you are you guys organ donors? Yes. yes. I should I should break out my ID. It's actually out in my car, or else I would show you. I'm definitely, you no, know. Don't show. I was gonna it. do it. But don't show your ID on the internet. <laughs> Wait, don't do I, that. I'm not scared. I'll do it, man. <laughs> don't. That's a Prove lot of it. personal information. Anyway. Uh, yeah. Well, so the purpose of this concert is to raise awareness, because you know, in this country, there are 100,000 people that are on a waiting list that are waiting for organs, and about. 20 a day die waiting for that organ. Yeah. So, um, you know, the only goal really is to raise um, the number of donors. You know, they're, they're not looking for money or anything else. It's just. Yeah. And that's, so, that's, that's the real thing too. Like the, the, the whole deal is it's really more about, yo, get involved in this you don't have to do anything but get involved in it. And yeah. Lee's been and it's on so the simple. show. Lee's been on the show actually in the past telling us about organ donation. And she actually like she solved a bunch of riddles about the whole deal. Like people thinking it's about this way and that. No, actually one organ donor can actually save up to eight lives. That's right. Yeah. One tissue and donor you know, can I mean heal more than fifty fucking lives and you know i could say the f word because it's my show on the internet but <laughs> that, and i mean it's it's just a simple fact crazy. that um you know after you've passed on you don't need those organs anymore yeah like are you it's kidding pretty, it's a no-brainer true and it's not that you know you know that this is this is how it goes if you can save multiple lives why not do it? That's that simple. I don't even have to give any other like things about it. Like that's it. There we go. Kayla's coming in. She she says it's definitely a good cause. My mom needs a kidney. Well, did you know oh, that this month is kidney donation month? This particular month we're in right now. Yeah, that's right. Yeah, I just saw it on WSAZ the other day. Well, that's fantastic. And Kayla, hopefully. Somebody working with this campaign, or somebody that's that you know that wants to be a part of this, will help, and and that's that's what we all can do. That's 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 what we're we've got, we're given that opportunity, and we can do this, everybody. We can do this, and another way that we can do this is coming to this show, and bringing our friends to it, and telling them all to sign up for this, and to understand that this is a wonderful way to go about everything. And this show, again, it's on uh, Friday, April 8th, 2022. It's coming up yeah. in, in two weeks. Um, and so uh, if I can just say again, like, this is a free show. It's uh, the Paramount Arts Center has 1,600 seats, and there are only 350 of those seats left. Yeah. And I'll tell you, if you're interested, I'll tell you how you can get a ticket. You go to live to save lives .com, where not only can you become, you can register as an organ donor, but you can also get you a free ticket for that show that night. And there's only, like I said, 350 left. Those are that that's amazing. That's two things that Arlo so, so easy to do. You just Arlo register Jr. to do it. You register to do it, get the job done, become an organ donor, and then get the ticket. Boom. Same site same place 
It's wonderful. I have to say, I've never heard of, I've been to a lot of shows, so is JD, okay? I've been to a lot of shows in my life. Uh, actually, let's just spin this back to Brandon Woolham, uh, Michael. He's the reason Please I've been don't. to like a thousand shows for the most part. I went to every, I went to every show imaginable with him. Please anyway, um, I've been to a lot of shows for a lot of weird causes, a lot of cool causes, a lot of, a lot of crazy stuff. I've never been to an organ donation show and especially one that can wrap it all up in one event where you could also become an organ donor and get a free ticket to the show i mean it's a no-brainer yeah. and by the way i know that we haven't like said enough about the the bands that are performing but we've actually had uh sarah from hello june on here and she's fantastic and she's worth the price of admission right there uh yeah. for any show no matter what so, and so uh, is have- arlo mckin yeah. arlo mckinley people are you kidding me oh. are you mc Kindling me? That's not. That's a good and ju- just so there's no confusion. Just so there's no confusion. It is totally free. You do not have to bring an organ with you in a cooler. It's a good point. <laughs> but nonetheless, shout out to all y'all's. Not kidney. recommended. It's pretty not recommended. Bitch. It's kidney bitch. It's actually it's discouraged because if you did that, not not if a good you idea. Did that, you would there. The police would be called. Where'd you get you. this? Where did you get it? You're thrown out of the show if you show up with your kidney in a bag. Michael, is there anything else that we can say about this show before we move on to Holler Nation? What do you got? Um, the only other thing we might mention is there, they held a contest to um, to have someone open the show. Uh, they, they put out a contest to the um, – this was the Donate Life High School Challenge. So they wanted to find a, a talented high school student to open the show, and it ended up this guy, uh, Jace Turley, won. And so we'll hear from him at the very top of the show or if we get things started. That's super cool. Man, that's so su- – what a so super cool show this is going to be. And I've never also – I've never heard of a free show at Paramount in my entire life. I mean, that's a – that for those that don't know, maybe you're local and you've never been to Paramount. It's it's like the uh, little cousin of Keith Albee Theater. So it's beautiful. Like, yeah, if you can imagine oh, the beauty wonderful. that comes yeah. with the Keith Albee, that's what you get with the Paramount and Ashland. And a free show, I, it's just like, I don't know, it's mind-blowing. No brainer. Cool. No brainer, man. It's great. Uh, Michael, thank you so much for being on the show. Everybody go to live to save lives.com. It's it's on the bottom of the screen if you're watching Probably. this. But if you're listening, it's live to save lives.com. It's spelled like it sounds, all one word. If you go to if you go to this website, you will find out uh, the way you can go to the show, uh, which is on Friday, April 8th. Uh, the doors are at 6 o'clock. The show starts at about 7, and it's at Paramount Arts Center in Ashley, Kentucky. Um, it's honestly going to be an amazing show. Seriously, Arlen McKinley, um, really one of the most interesting and robust <laughs> artists in this area. And... and uh, Honestly, for the past couple of years, like one of the one of the best artists you could actually hear. And then hello, hello June. Are you kidding? They're, Sarah's amazing. Shout out Sarah. I hope you're I hope you're amazing. Listening. Sarah, uh, they're Sarah's they're great. working on a new record right now. They're gonna play new music. You're gonna hear that sh- you're gonna hear that shit before anybody else does. It's gonna be great. You're gonna be able to see Jace Turley, uh, yeah. who just won that competition. Michael talked to you about it. Uh, donate life, ladies and gentlemen. Live to save lives.com. Let's scoot on to the next thing. Let's do this. Yeah, get to the show and become an organ donor if you do nothing else. I mean, that's easier than donating blood. Uh, you know, you're you're signing a paper and you're gonna give your organs up when you die. That's way easier than donating blood. Come on, people, get there. We will see you there. On to the next segment. It's time to shout out Holler Nation. Michael, we want you to play along with us. Uh, and let's just you know throw the notes out the window at this point. Let's just have some fun. Here we go. Send your dick pics to Gracie at officialholler.com. He's literally throwing a bunch of <laughs> yeah, I knew he would. That's why I said it. It's really it's because he and I go back so far. I knew what he would do before he was even going to do it. We, go, we, like all go back. we all go back so far. It's, it's just we like all. that last day of school when we took our homework. And <laughs> the three of us, man. Why would you have homework on the last day of school? <laughs> <laughs> I'm doing a really bad job. I'm sorry. No, you're doing a wonderful job. Thank you so much, Michael, for being on the show. Uh, it's Holler. We got to talk to Holler Nation, um, and we're going to do our first Holler poll. Brian, I think you got to go up first, dude. Sure. Um, my Holler poll this evening goes like this. So, Michael, listen closely. 
Let's happened. say you're in a public bathroom stall and someone comes up and they knock on the door. What's the correct answer when someone knocks on the door of a public bathroom stall? And I'll tell you what, while you're thinking of that, let's just go to Holler Nation. Let's go to them right away, see what they have to say. Yeah. Those that snapped yeah. videos, we're going to go with them first. And since we're missing her so much, Gracie has snapped the show. And I'll almost guarantee you the beginning of these snaps are not going to be for the poll. It's going to be Gracie being Gracie or yeah. something. She's probably going to talk about like classic or something. Classic Gracie. So here we go. Let's see what Gracie has to say. Moria, you're in the bathroom and someone knocks on the door. What do you say? What's the correct response? I don't know. I don't know. Moria, you're in the bathroom and someone knocks on the door. What do you say? I think she said, I'm in here. Someone Let's just go with it. Someone knocks on the bathroom door and I'm in there. I'm going to say, I'm in here. That is the correct answer. You just let them know you're in here. You don't need to let them know how long you're going to be in there. They just need to know that someone has occupied the restroom. <laughs> And um, that's it. it. And by that point, you can't even give a courtesy flush if you're pooping because then they're going to think you're done and like start to get impatient if you don't come out within like the next 30 seconds because you know, got to wash your hands for 20 seconds. That's a thing. Um, so, yeah, you just say, I'm in here and then leave it at that and then pinch it off and go, I guess. <laughs> Gracie, Gracie, Gracie we miss you. She discussed the the anxiety of a the only thing that I heard from the whole thing was pinch it. <laughs> she, yeah. yeah, Gracie spoke of the anxiety of a pre flush, as if the person on the outside will then judge you for the pre flush, as if they're going to go tell their friends that this motherfucker pre -flu pre flushed and they're still not coming out. They're up to two flushes already. <laughs> it's crazy. Okay, oh, we've got Miranda next. She's out in Holler Nation right now, live. Here we go. So coming from an extremely anxiety-ridden person, this situation does not have to be anxiety-inducing. <laughs> Allow me to explain. Knock, knock, knock. It's in the toilet. Just a second. That's all there is to it. You just have to say just a second. That's the right answer, right? <laughs> it's, a, it's a pretty solid answer coming from the girl living yeah. in the toilet. Where is, <laughs> wait, but, but, if, but if you just say just a second, they, that gives them an out to be able to like knock and get like weird yeah. about like it's been a second. One, 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 <laughs> one thousand. One's up, buddy. One's up. <laughs> Fantastic. This next snap comes from Morgan. I usually just say, um, just a second. What? That's I usually two just row. say, um, just a second. Two just a seconds in a row. So many just a seconds. Um, okay, the rest of my I'll snaps say, are going to be uh, text, and then we'll get to the uh, to us around the board here. Oh, this one comes from it. this one comes from Courtney. Courtney says someone is in here. Sarah says, "What's up?" Uh, <laughs> <laughs> I'm sorry. Wait, Did he hey, wait. Don't up? go so fast, uh, Brian. Give us a moment to to think, because this is great. Hey, what's up? <laughs> what's up? Hey, what's up? <laughs> Clementine in the house, a.k.a. Pete Butt. What a is great time for you to join us. And her answer is, hey, yo. <laughs> yo. Okay, hey. this next one comes from Andrew Hutchins. He says, saying occupied or sorry in use uh, is the nice way to do it. The not nice way to do it is, uh, go away or fuck off, you jag off. <laughs> I like that one. Yeah. Too many like off. That. Um, this one comes from Mike Perry. He says, taken, it's two syllables. It gets the point across. Fuck off and let me finish. Nikki out of North Carolina says, occupied. Andy, a.k.a. the artist known as Jonathan. You guys got to go check out his music. We'll have him on here. We'll get his music on here soon enough. He's got some really cool stuff going on. Oh, yeah, I, helped him, I helped him shoot a music video uh, not that know. long ago. Uh, Andy, a.k.a. Jonathan. Uh, he's at a concert right now in Cincinnati, and he's still snapping the ship. And he says the correct response should be, "I can't reach help." <laughs> to, give, to give the other can't person, reach. wait, <laughs> that's, that's, the point. that's that's level. There's levels to that one, player. <laughs> Next one. Okay, this is the best answer so far, actually. Okay, and I I think this is probably the correct answer. And I don't know why I didn't think of this. This next one comes from Jason, a.k.a. Parsi Par. He says, 
Shitter's full. It's a great answer. I like it. Christmas vacation. Right. Yeah. It's fucking awesome. Uh, Sam, Mr. Sam Masson out of Jack's Beach, Florida, our good, our old buddy, JD. Uh, good to see Sam still alive out there. He says, uh, hold up, bruh. That's Sam's answer. <laughs> um, Cynthia, uh, I believe she comes out of Vegas, potentially. Cynthia says, the correct response is, occupied. All the girls are so nice about it. Occupied. And yeah. you notice all the guys are like, fuck off. I can't reach my, my shit. <laughs> all the girls are like, it'll, it'll be a moment. <laughs> One moment, please. <laughs> the girls are using like words that like guys <laughs> don't know. What does that even mean? So I estimate like, I eight know. minutes, right. 34 seconds. <laughs> okay. Okay. So girls. Thank you for coming. It'll be a moment, please. <laughs> Guys, you're shitting my ass. <laughs> uh, that's horrible. That's so hey, we got Mel. We got Mel on the West Coast. And oh. Mel. Oh, there we go. Hold on. Our, our program is being weird. There we go. Mel says, my response would be, it's coming out of me like lava. I need an adult. So Mel joins Team Guys. <laughs> Thank you, Mel. Salute. Team Guys. Molten diarrhea. The, I like the I like the like instant like like presumption that it's you're pooping. It's not just pee. There is some other yeah. things going you on. I'm going to move along to the next stall. Like there's too much going on. <laughs> you, we've got <laughs> not just pee. It's something else. You don't other have to. Pee. <laughs> All right, guys. So we have to go around and give our answers. Um, you know, I think I think what I do when someone actually knocks on the stall, I usually say, uh, "In a minute." You know, that's that's all I usually say. Something. Like Not that. a second. A minute. Wait, 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 no. One more time. Can you do it one more time? In a minute. <laughs> I don't know why I'm shouting up. The I like it. I like in it. I like yeah. it that way. All right. For me, it's more. For me, it's more like ah, someone's in here. <laughs> It's scary in your stall. Yeah, I want to be. I want to be safe in my space. And then yeah, somebody, yeah. somebody gets in. My, no, someone's in here. You know what I'm I say? Shakalaka. Yeah, let's hear. It. I say, come on in, buddy. <laughs> There's room for one more. Table for two. <laughs> you could. You, we can do face to face. We can do back to. Back to back. <laughs> Backsies. You want to come on in for some backsies, sir? Yeah. By the way, have you guys ever used a bidet? Oh my god. Yes, Yo. amazingly. Yo. Do, you, do you know how to do it properly? Uh I don't know. I just hit the button and um you know, I'm a I'm a white American man. I of course I don't. <laughs> <laughs> yeah, I was like bro, the answer's probably well, <laughs> so we don't have well, those. We use paper. I, like a I never, like a like a dude. Yeah, walk, walk us through this, Michael. Well, I've never seen one uh, until a few years ago. I'm over in Europe, and 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 you know, it's like what is? The, it's like a a sink. It's like a sink toilet. It's an upside and down you, sink toilet. What you see is a progression from sink to sink toilet to toilet. <laughs> and I di I didn't I didn't want to even I didn't want to even try. So I didn't so use did. it. Oh, you missed out. Um, I didn't want well, to try either. Okay, go for it. I'll, I'll say this. I, I, I feel like I might have turned the knob, and it's like a little water fountain comes out. But, I mean, I'm going to need some more pressure than that. Yeah. I need, well, I need, a, I need a pressure washer. So, you know, so <laughs> it might, <laughs> it might have, that might be like more uh, like, <laughs> of a, a, like a uh, – opinion about like what's going on with the with that area than it is well, really the pressure of like what's going another, already on up in there another note Compared you have to, to get that. off you have to get off the toilet walk and take a step over to the bidet so you're walking i mean you gotta do the waddle you gotta <laughs> do the walk you gotta I do think... the fucking now and and here's the other thing i learned today my coworker told me he learned you're supposed to sit on them backwards so you can work the handles. <laughs> I believe it's going to shoot me like in the it. wrong spot. Now you have turned this into an amusement park ride. Uh, the can, sink toilet. Then you can and get then the you right. You can throw it up. Hey, in like the air. 
Yeah. How do you like these, by the way? Yeah, Those bugs. Hot pockets. Hey, this so turlet. This turlet's awesome. Socks are fucking fantastic. Um, we've got some <laughs> great socks, by the way, because he's using the bidet on the other side. <laughs> uh, Susan, aka Poop Butt Clem Clementine, nearly says, ripped your asshole open. Mine nearly <laughs> ripped your asshole open. I love it. How's that? Are for we still pressure? talking about bidets? How's that for pressure, Michael? You trying oh, to get goat seat on the seat? That is exactly what bidets. I'm looking for. That is exactly what I'm looking for. Welcome to the Goatsy Sink Toilet, Airbnb. Uh, Miranda says they are amazing. <laughs> JD's trying yeah, to no. get all in. Yeah, no, I'm looking. I wanna, no, I actually am like it. It's good. I need to know like the five star versus the one star reviews of yeah, solid the days so I'm I can know whether it's something I want to uh, install in my home. Trust me, like some of the things that go on with I'm wanting to sit on it and it's sprays out my mouth yeah well you need to sit on uh susan's bidet uh <laughs> apparently because it will rip you a new one uh and uh tear a hole into your heart and uh shoot a new thought into your brain which is i should buy a bidet <laughs> this, this thing done this sink turlet and squirted me in my brain god i'm never gonna say i'm never gonna forget the term sink toilet ever again uh Clem says, get one. <laughs> I installed it myself even. The reason I ever tried one, because I was at an Airbnb, by the way. That's how I try one. JD, you've got a holler pole this evening. Let's get off I the seat. <laughs> sorry, I sorry. I, I hijacked and, uh, sorry. It's interesting because it's like we're going from like what we were talking about and then to like bidets, talking about buttholes. And also, <laughs> what's the nastiest candy? Because you gotta oh, eat it. Guys. You gotta eat it, and then it and then it comes out the other way, right? So what's, so what's the worst candy ever? Oh, I've got it. I've got the answer. And I want us to go first. Then we're gonna go. We're gonna rock everybody else. We gotta do it. Uh, Brian, what's up? Yeah. Uh, the candies that come out, uh, you always see them at Halloween. I don't even know where they come from. Uh, legend has it no one even buys them. They just show up on, in bowls <laughs> during Halloween, and they are the little black and orange candies that are, like, wrapped in, like, the, the wrapping is, like, wax, black wax, yeah. and orange wax. And it's some type of, like, fucked up taffy that's taffy. probably, like, it's been around for, like, 107 years, and no one's eaten it yet, uh, like, uh, they taste like child. Somebody abuse. bought a bag twenty years ago. Yeah, yeah. yeah they, they made them all in the nineteen fifties. They're bad. Um, they, they literally made all of them then, and they they rationed them out to get. And Susan says those are so good. Susan, this is why you have to use your bidet because you eat those things. Where do you buy them from? <laughs> <laughs> See, you're just showing off. <laughs> What the fuck, Miranda? Too? Come they're on! Miranda no says they're good, but those are good. They're peanut butter. Come no, on! They're not. No. Peanut you butter. know what? Maybe, maybe there's a maybe there's like a a bidet Halloween can taffy candy. What if you? <laughs> yeah. What if you're? What if you're sitting? What if you're sitting on the sink toilet and the second you let one go, the sink toilet has like a little uh, intercom and it goes, "You've got mail." How sweet would that be? You at the sink toilet. <laughs> UPS, man. Oh man. Okay. Uh I'll just go. I'm you're gonna talking, go. You're talking about these guys, right? Yeah. Yes, it's those. How of the fuck is that peanut know. butter? Someone show me how that's peanut butter. <laughs> well, look what? at it. <laughs> yeah, exactly. Look at it. It looks like a rock that I stepped on when I was at the beach earlier. <laughs> it looks like a kidney stone. <laughs> it looks like a kidney stone. Yes. <laughs> oh, live to save lives.com. Please donate uh, your organs. It's, it's great. <laughs> donate your organs. Uh, <laughs> time. That nastiest candy. I'm going next, and it's milk duds. Oh, come yeah. on. No, no, no. no. Listen, yeah, first of all, I mean, I, oh yeah. my God. <laughs> I'm going to let you finish. I'm going to let you finish. <laughs> milk duds. You can't get them anywhere but movie theaters. And then you get them in the movie theaters, and they break your teeth, and you have to leave the movie theater. Really? You gotta suck. You gotta suck. You don't chomp. Now listen, I, you, there's no way you can put something with chocolate in the worst 
No, 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 no. You don't even understand. You don't even understand. <laughs> Sucking on milk duds, baby. <laughs> the milkman, the bidet okay. boy. I, in my opinion, one of the like some of the best candies are ones that you can you can suck them, or you can bite them. You know, you can chew. You can ah, uh, Susan. Don't tell me this is blasphemy. JD, it's, no, it's dude. It's chocolate and caramel. There JD, are no you no talking about nipples or milk duds? Well, I'm confused right now. Uh. You could suck them. You could nibble You can them. get milk dubs. Flick them around. Caleb <laughs> yeah. says, you can get that milk dubs everywhere. <laughs> Susan says, you got to do a little sucky nibble. Yeah, dude. <laughs> all right. So, all right. Man. Okay. Listen. There's, you know, it's different. The caramel, okay, I get it. It's just, I, you know, hard caramel, bad. Bad for teeth. Bad, bad stuff. Well, are you talking yeah, about worse the same tasting situation. candy like, or oh, worse coming in going, eating Skittles experience? For me? Yuck. Skittles are just fruit-flavored, sugar chunky, that like like chewy chunk that fucks with your teeth. Like, <laughs> fuck that. Not cool, man. And, I, and you know what? I, I will still mess with like plenty of other things that are covered in chocolate. Goobers, wonderful. Raisinets, wonderful. Milk Duds, Sounds like though? you don't like the sticky I don't I think do, I like the sticky. I'm going to go out on a ledge with JD, and I'm going to say I think milk duds taste bad. I'm just going to say that. I, they're not my least favorite. That, they don't taste that good either. Yeah, I don't like don't the taste, taste that good. Guys. <laughs> These milk duds <laughs> be yanking on my teeth. Uh, all right. <laughs> Michael, you're up, dude. What is the shittiest, guys, guys, there, candy, dude? There are candies that are literally just chalk. Like... <laughs> There's an entire genre of candy that is chalk. Oh, yeah, prove it. Say, name uh, one. Yeah, what are they? Tell well, us. Well, now I'm going to list a couple. Don't interrupt me. Yeah. <laughs> Classic. You're not going to like what I'm going to say, I don't think. But Pez. Um, then you got your, uh, <laughs> I mean, yeah, Smarties. No. Uh, what are the the big disc things that are awful? Necco uh, wafers. Sweet, Necco sweet. wafers. Oh, Necco sweet wafers. Tarts. Pieces of chalk, and uh, also don't like Pieces circus of chalk that you can write on the. You can use them to draw on a concrete surface. Yes, I, I don't want to oh, be able to write with my candy. Get this off the screen. Is that true? Miranda? No, I'm not a fucking dentist now. Dad said no. Dad shit. Dad that said no, so but she did it. <laughs> Okay, I mean, if it has chocolate in it, there's no way it's going to be the worst. Oh, yeah, but what's the first part of chocolate? Chalk, what you just said. Oh. So, myth busted. Oh, 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 no. <laughs> Did you just blow his mind? You're beautiful. All right, I'm throwing down. I'm don't, throwing down the gauntlet, and then we're scooting. <laughs> I'm throwing down the gauntlet, and then we're scooting on to the shots fired segment of the show. And here we go. All right, we're going down. This is what uh, Facebook says. Alicia says, candy corn, black licorice, and peeps. Peeps, wow. Candy corn sucks. Candy corn's not good, that good, but if you eat it with peanuts, it tastes like a peanut. Yeah, the it. salty and the sweet, I agree. It's good. Uh, we, can it on the floor. we can bring it on the floor. Uh, Mo says... Uh, anything with white chocolate. I love white chocolate. Mo, by the way, Mo was a, a bit, uh, hung out with us last week where we were chilling out with Massing on the live show. It was a fantastic time. Uh, Kayla actually uh, responded to Mo's shit and said, we can no longer be friends. White chocolate is the best. It, well, and Mo said, it just means more for you. I'll take all your darkness. White uh, chocolate will never be better than you. Dark chocolate or black chocolate, oh, brown I, chocolate. I, you know, I, I, I don't know. Uh, Adam, Adam Hall, uh, X, another lost year, wonderful, fucking fantastic guitarist, singer, all that good shit. He says, good and plenties. I don't even know what those taste like. I'm going to be honest. I don't good know what they taste like. These, you remember yeah. these? I remember them. I've never tasted them. What do they taste I don't like? remember. Are they like Mike and Ike's? 
Yeah, they look they're like, like little... sort of like sugary licorice-y. Oh, yeah. Like I probably wouldn't like that. That's weird. That's weird. <laughs> Uh, Jacob McComas, uh, Jewel City Barbershop. He says, if you enjoy candy corn and Swedish fish, please exit my life. <laughs> uh, <laughs> Josh Iron, your Extreme Records. He says, Circus Peanuts. Marty Emerson. Chef Marty Emerson. Pardon me. Uh, he would the not. Zero Bar. I've never heard anyone say they like them or eat them. Hey. Hey. I actually do like those. I do like Zero Bars. There were, What's the zero? It's That's peanuts, the coconut one. It's peanuts and nougat and caramel and white chocolate. Not peanuts. coconut. It's white chocolate. Peanuts. It's like a white. It's like a white Snickers looking thing. It's, it's like delicious. a. It's like it's like almond bark. Really, it's not even. Yeah, it's a Snickers, but it's like the opposite everything else. Uh, uh, <laughs> Poop butt says Neko <laughs> wafers. Neko wafers. Sophie says peeps. Anything with marshmallow. And then jelly my. beans. You put the peeps uh, in a microwave. Ethan, yeah. Ethan, aka Wheat Thin, says black licorice for sure. Yeah, who? Why don't we very bad? Why is that the first time that we heard that? Right. It's very who bad. likes who eats black licorice? Seems like a no brainer. Stepdads. Stepdads. <laughs> Sharks with freaking laser beams attached to their heads. <laughs> or the or yeah, or those. Yeah, or those. Um. Yeah, I'm just gonna go ahead and kill the rest of these. Uh, yeah. let's see. Victoria says, as mentioned above, Necco wafers and good and plenty. But I also add sweet tarts. Sweet tarts? I don't know about those. Dude, sweet, sweet tarts, tarts are they're okay. They're they're in the chalk family, but they're good. They're, they're definitely <laughs> not as chalky. They're in the chalk. Sweet family. tart is a better smarty. They're. <laughs> They're in the chalk family. <laughs> I actually think it's a phylum to be. It's a phylum. It's a, it's a step up. It's a, it's a step up from that family. It's it's the fruit phylum. Yes, the chalk family. Don't worry, guys. We'll map it all out for you. This podcast makes no uh, sense. Donate your organs. All right, here we go. Here we go. Uh, Janelle Beth says Twizzlers. Word up. Uh, they suck. Uh, well, yeah, they suck. Uh, Kayla says, I'm going to go with Bean Boozled Jelly Beans. Oh. The, the Bean is, Boozled. The ones that like you, you have to guess what it tastes like. Yeah. And it could be like a fart or like dog vomit and all that bullshit. I, have you Wait. guys not had these before? I've had them. I've had I the was, like uh, Bernie Bots Every Flavor Beans from Harry Potter for, for bullshit. This is, this is, I was on a podcast in Lexington one time and, um, okay. Or Indianapolis, and they have uh, it's like one tastes like a pear and one tastes like gym socks, yep, yep. <laughs> and they're the same color, so you don't know what it is. You're being boozled, you Ooh. got being boozled, yeah. Now you've been be boozled, Susan. She uh, did, uh, she's, in, she's in the house too. She, vanilla Tootsie Rolls are fucking grody. I love grody. that. That's a wonderful <laughs> adverb. Mm -hmm, mm -hmm. <laughs> Or no, that's an adjective. I'm sorry. Adjective. <laughs> this podcast yeah. makes no sense. Let's play Mad Libs. Actually, you know, go ahead and do it. Live to save lives, ladies and gentlemen. Uh, oh, all right. Jesus. Sarah says, Seven Up Bubble Gum. Ew. There's I don't know if gum, gum is candy. Seven? Gum is not candy. Ooh, What's interesting. Gum is gum. That's a, wait, it's, now that's a whole nother. That's a, fam that's a family. You got the gum, you got the candy. Mm, now we're the gums. Okay. We're now, really breaking they, it down. We're really breaking They do it go. Down. They are all at the top of the food pyramid. <laughs> but a different, like the, the family of I like gums. Michael has brought us uh, physical representations of how the, the top. <laughs> Does this look like the, the dollar, the back of the dollar? Welcome to Holler, the podcast that gets tens of tens of views and talks about the, the heavy hitters. We bring you the real stuff. And now and now we're a part of the Illuminati. That would be my fault, yes. <laughs> Throw it on up for Hove and uh, Chris, the family of them. <laughs> Chrissy, all right, this is it. Uh, Chrissy says sugar babies. Remember those? Sugar babies? Sugar babies are just tiny milk duds. 
Yeah, no, it's like a yeah, it's no, like, no, it's no. Like, there's no chocolate. There's no chocolate in a sugar. Yeah, baby. there's no chocolate. It's just no. It's on a stick though. Because it hasn't. No, no, no. That's a sugar matured. daddy. It hasn't fully matured that's into a the sugar dud. daddy. The daddy has the stick. The, the daddy's got are, the stick. <laughs> the milk. <laughs> it's very. <laughs> the daddy's got the stick. The babies <laughs> haven't developed oh. their chocolate yet. Oh, the babies are little right. babies. Uh, Not the sugar daddy, nor does the sugar daddy have chocolate. <laughs> uh, that's the end of uh, everything I'm ever going to say on the uh, podcast. Oh, that's goodbye. fair. <laughs> that's fair. <laughs> Let's move on to the next thing. Let's do it. Please. <laughs> By the way, the next thing is our favorite part of the show. Shots five. five, five. Shots five. Five, five, five. Katie, Katie, how am I on volume? Do I need to bring this up? You're good. No, you're solid. Shots five. No, no you're, you're great. My ears are bleeding. <laughs> That's the purpose, you know? Good. It's good. That's what we want. You. It's supposed to shock you a little bit. Just to remind everybody, the sugar daddies have the stick. It's Britney, bitch. And it's Britney, bitch. That's Daddy's awesome. got the stick. Oh. And the babies have not developed their chocolate yet. And also April 8th from 7 to 10 p.m. Free show at the Paramount. Donate your organs live to save lives.com. Um, camo complete energy shots. Camo energy shots.com. Camo energy shots.com. We'll get it across the screen again. We're good. It's we're shots good. fired. Good. Let's let's bitch about something and take a drink of something. That's that's what we did. This has been great. Thank you, Michael. By the way, for for filling in so quick. Uh, it's super cool that you're here with us. I hope you're having a good time. Oh yeah, we're, it's fun. Does it, did it sound like I knew what I was talking about? Yeah, yeah, you did great. Um, you even threw the notes away like a like um, you know like a talk show host. So it was perfect. It's like you've done this, this before. Is- I don't know um, how, but they're laying neatly stacked in front of that. Me. Okay, now that's a magic <laughs> trick because I watched you throw them. Now, now I don't understand what's he happening. Just, he throws them and he just now. Them now look, at, now there somehow there is a paper clip holding them all together. <laughs> I don't know. I don't know. Wow. Oh boy. So what's uh, this? <laughs> live to save lives dot com, ladies and gentlemen. Uh, it's a uh, live show. It's happening Friday, April eighth. Doors at six o'clock. Show starts at seven. Wonderful artists like Arla McKinley. Hello June. Um, we got what we, we got Jace Turley. We got Gabby Thomas. We're yeah. donating yeah. live people. Yeah, and get those free tickets at here. It is there. It, there it goes. There live it is. Live to save lives dot com. Can you can you continue that for me? Yeah, it's gonna keep going. No, it's good. So when, when people listen later. Uh, on the audio program, they won't be able to see anything. So we'll just say, uh, live to save lives. Oh, yeah, it's the URL, people. That's what we're pointing at. Hey, well, let, let's let's fire some shots. I'll go first. I'll make mine short and sweet. Um, I don't know, uh, Michael. Do you have an iPhone or an Android? I have an iPhone. Okay, gotcha. I have Eight. a complaint. I have a complaint about um, like the one of the newest operating systems. It's been out for a year or so now about the iPhone. Um, they changed the way that you access the flash on the camera, and it sounds a little bit nitpicky, but I'm just saying it used to be a pretty simple click one and done, and now, I mean, fuck it. I'll just pull it up right now. to For me to access the camera flash, there's a, a little kind of a, the lightning bolt symbol up here. I have to click it, and you would think that that just turns it on and off, but it then gives me options. Something's at the bottom, and it says auto, um, night, day i can scroll left or right i also have options of if it automatically does this or not dude it the the flash has become too confusing on the iphone i can't tell you how many times i've I've pulled this phone out to take a photo and i've fumbled through the flash and then i've missed the photo moment so fuck the new iphone flash um that's a, that's all i have to say about this a simple solution <laughs> it's a little dramatic i know what never use the flash that what you're gonna say yeah, never turn the flash on. Amateur. I don't know. Sometimes you're in the dark, <laughs> sitting on a yeah. sitting on a bidet. You know. You know, honestly, <laughs> maybe they're fucking up. up. Maybe they're. Maybe they're. <laughs> hey, fellas, check this out. Hey, check this shit out. This is unbelievable. I'm on one of them bidets. 
<laughs> B day. I got my B day. This turlet's fancy. You know, you know what? I say leave it to the Europeans. Susan <laughs> says, How do I phone with a uh, papa emoji? I believe oh. it's cool. Just. Uh, maybe they've lost the like yeah maybe it's not about the moment anymore now now maybe we all have to be like <laughs> right, i don't know dude It'll... Ooh, no what, 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 <laughs> you're what, inside of an what, apple what, 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 is, that, is that the is that the internet or the email <laughs> Hey, baby, I hear yeah, the blues are calling. You're in the mood. Okie dokie. Okay, JD, I'm, what's up? Shots fired. I'm stealing this one. I'm stealing this one from JJ Waters, wonderful man uh, from our uh, local area, honky tonk hero himself. Uh, <laughs> I'm just reading. I'm just reading this verbatim from his recent post. He says, there's a certain comfort in knowing that for the rest of my life, I'll be hearing the songs of Tyler Childers in every bar room that I enter. It's one of the few things that just won't get old to me. I'm a fan, and I always will be. I just wish y'all wouldn't keep playing the same three songs. <laughs> yeah, I like that. I hear that. And go ahead and hit the fucking... Go ahead and give me that. <laughs> Michael Valentine, you're up. Shots fired. I wish you all would have given me some time to think about this. I wish I would have known you were going to be on the show. Yeah. Uh, you know what? I wish I would have known I was going to be on the show. <laughs> I wish I, I wish, wish we could just, I wish have known that we were in the same fucking graduating class. Apparently. Michael, I wish we could just go back to the good old days. You know, the three of us. Remember HHS. when we were all in school together and it was so much fun. You know, the three of us we in Miss Hastings' class just uh, living, living life. Remember that English science? Remember, remember <laughs> when uh, gymnastics? Yeah, remember no, gym, gym, gymnastics. <laughs> <laughs> Physical. Wait, you mean ping pong and where we had to change our shorts? <laughs> That's right. <laughs> That's right. Ping you mean pong. Ping when we ping had to pong where our where yes. Coach Brown <laughs> would take his shoe off and beat you in ping pong using his shoe yeah. as a paddle those days? Yeah. What a what a life that must have been for that man. <laughs> oh boy. Oh, I can geez. beat all y'all with one hand behind no, my back. Come on. And shoot Michael, I know you, you got something you got something on your mind you want to get off of it. Like one well, honestly yeah, um, throw something out, man. Something that's like kind of pissed you off, dude, or whatever, well, man. That's I, the whole point of this. And I'll take the shot that, for you. The only thing that comes to mind is um today I was uh, working on my taxes, you know. And I and you do you think this when you're when you're doing the taxes like why do I have to do this? Why, yeah. Why can't yeah, why can't that. why doesn't the government do this? Right. And they know what I make. Yeah. They, yeah. They, they, they technically know. actually kind of do it, but they they're wanting you to go like, uh, did I get it right? Them. If and not, if you're wrong, well, if you're, you're wrong, they say no. Yeah, you're in. You go to jail. Right. <laughs> But if you get it right, if you get it right, here's your own money back, by the way. <laughs> but if you're wrong, oops, jail. <laughs> See how that there's works? all these stimulus things and the kids. And I'm, I'm like, what am I? This is I, and I'll tell you what, I think H&R Block is making it more complicated. So it's harder for people to do. And so we paid them to do it. Actually, yeah. it's getting a lot simpler with all this turbo. Uh, stuff. Yeah. Now that we're actually continually like using words to talk about it it actually is getting simpler now we're realizing oh shit it's just corporatism yeah it's just i just don't uh, like paying money that's what they're supposed to be doing man tax season, tax season sucks ass shots fired at tax season here we go boom all the blob shots to save lives .com. Got ladies him. and gentlemen friday april 8th at the paramount art center Ashley, Kentucky. It's Arla McKinley. It's Hello June. It's Grace Turley. It's Gabby Thomas. You can donate live anytime you want. You can always donate live. I just want to let everybody know you can always donate live. A better That's time like, would be after you have passed on. There's also living. Yeah, that, that's living really the best time to really do it. I, I mean, you can do uh, it anyway, the other way, but come on. You can donate while you're still living, too. Kidneys, liver. 
section. Yes, of, the of course. But that's not what this is about. This is actually about, hey, guess what? You're already, you've already done your time. <laughs> you've already I don't been know what here. You're talking about. <laughs> Everybody's, we've, yeah, once you've already been here, you're doing your thing. No, that's a real deal. Donate Life. It's a wonderful campaign. Organ donation is literally like one of the best things you can do as a person. Uh, every so time you uh, you go to the DMV, sign up for your fucking uh, driver's license. They'll ask you, you want to be an organ donor? Yeah, you that's just say yes. It. That's when I did it. Hey, Michael, uh, will, you consider, yes. will you consider this slogan? Pass this to the higher ups, if you don't mind. I just thought of this live on the show. Um, are you kidding yourself? You don't need your organs when you're dead. Donate. Live to save lives.com. No, I will not. Stop kidding yourself. Give us the organs. All of them. All of them. <laughs> well, well, you know, maybe we should workshop can it. Brian, can you do one more real quick? Another slogan or a yeah. button? Yes. Yeah. So um, what's another organ? Yep. Yeah. Um, we we uh, we heart organ donors. Uh, we heart them. <laughs> That's just it. Give me your heart. <laughs> no, no, give me your heart. <laughs> no, that's not what I said. No, that's horrible. Don't do that what else? Oh, I was, what oh, else? What else? Don't um, be such a pain, Chris, by uh, not donating. No. Yeah, yeah. Um, Did people you're, no pancreas? you're no longer livering, so just give us the organs. Live. That's yeah. real close. Yeah, yeah. We're, we're, close. we're losing viewership, guys. They're going. <laughs> oh, 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 oops. Quick, let's start talking about farting again. Uh, <laughs> Yeah, back on the bidets, boys. <laughs> Let's <laughs> talk about cleaning up the <laughs> baby. Yeah, yeah. Back on the bidets. Uh, Brian, stop, end the show, says Holler Nation. Um, by the way, speaking of Holler Nation, um, I want to shout them out before we get out of here this evening because I had a lot of answers on Facebook and I just can't pass them up. That would not be fair. Um, I've got my dog beside me, and he's asking for a dog blanket to be covered oh, up. Come on, boy! What is happening? Are you glad, doggy? <laughs> Lots of stuff. Can he be? I'll, be, I'll be right back. I gotta put a blanket on my dog. Yeah, back, <laughs> back on the bidet, boys. Here we go. I see him over there. I see him over there. Fido, get Fido back on the bidet. <laughs> yeah. Um, he's a European. Okay. <laughs> yeah, yeah, European. I, I don't. <laughs> I like that. That's good. Um, okay. So on to my poll answers here from Holler Nation Facebook. Yeah. I want to shout yeah. you guys out for playing along. You deserve it. Uh, so back to the, if you're using a public bathroom, someone knocks on the door, what's the correct response? Uh, Rachel, <laughs> Rachel says, come in. Uh, hey, that's my answer. <laughs> that's good. Jacob McCama says, I've had a long time public restroom phobia. So if I ever find myself in a public restroom to do a number one and it has a door, I'd most mo most likely just make nervous whimpers. <laughs> uh, Casey, uh -huh. Casey in Holler Nation says, I would just make grunting noises. Uh -huh. um, oh, yeah. Matthew Kerr <laughs> says, wow. Real. Matt Matt says, silence, yeah. a locked door speaks for itself. If they're persistent, then you give them the business after you walk out, not before. There's nothing intimidating about a man with no pants on screaming from the other side of a locked door. Yeah. You ever see the you ever see the person in there through the <laughs> Yeah. Okay, now now we're on to something. Let's talk about viewership in the stall. That's correct. Let's talk about And you can see the guy's naked laugh. Yeah. <laughs> Wait, yeah, no, right. wait, you're talking about from the other <laughs> side? What about me? I'm in it. Wait, no. Katie's in, in there. It, and I'm wait, that was you? No. That was you? You're looking at me through. And yeah. now, it was what? like this big. Like sometimes it's like this big. 
I I'm talking about the crack. Gold. No, I'm not talking about the crack. <laughs> <laughs> He's right though, and you you know uh, you well, have no, to. Do right. It's cold. It's a bathroom. What about it's covered like, in tiles? Just Nobody admit knows. you do it. There's just, no actual. Just admit you do it if you're at a show or like at work, you know, and you you walk into a bathroom and you see someone in the stall with the door closed. You you look at those shoes and you're like, oh. That's Michael. He's in there shitting. I know. Yes, I, know I do. I do. That. Dude, he's over here I know chilling. Michael's shoes. He's over here he took a shit earlier. Oh, we I got this. I recognize oh, those socks. Yeah. <laughs> um, back on the day. Ask, can I ask one more question? Sure, go for yes. it. Um, can you, as a guy, okay, where I I work at City Hall, and they yeah. don't have urinals. Like it's only toilets and stalls. So this is like a women's bathroom. So if you only have to pee, do you have to shut the door behind you? Or can you stand in front of the toilet? Ooh, this is a good, yes, good. Really wonderful question. And you know what? This is actually, we normally always have a woman on our show. That's actually the thing that we do. Yeah, so yeah. This is like kind of the first time that this we is can the guys, do you know, we're just stuff. We can just get in our underwear and just and we can out. just Yeah. And normally, I but think you, I just... When I the walk, open door, the yeah, open door yeah, and back uh, signifies off, okay. taken. It just signifies that someone's in there, and so like as a dude, you don't even think about. It. You're just like, oh, that's a uh, that's Michael in there. He's pissing. I'm going to go in the next one. You know, it's just like the door being closed. It's like no different. So yes, I, the answer is yes. That's what I'm going with. Now the problem for me is I pull all the way down to the ankles. That is a problem. <laughs> you you <laughs> still need to close the door. Big problem. It's a real big problem. Hey, and can I, as long as we're talking about all bathroom. of us have been meaning to talk to you about that, Michael. Yeah, you need oh, yeah. to close the door. You're kicked out of the bathroom, actually. Especially all of our friends at City Hall. All of our friends at City Hall have been trying to say, hey, we're, we might have to pass a resolution at the city council. Yeah, the, let's to, bring this uh, back for city to council. fix this. Um, I don't know how much more time you got, but I I, I am curious. Um, oh, is there much time as you want, man? We're good. You know, okay, well, I've got a lot to Except say. pull your pants um, up. Jesus, pull I'm, your fucking pants I've got a lot to say about bathroom etiquette. Um, Clearly. You know, as as children, or at least as a kid, for me, I would walk in the elementary school bathroom, and the kids are at the urinals, and the the pants are at the ankles, and their bare butts are, are there. Am I right? Yeah, Did you experience they, just, this? they hadn't they hadn't uh, learned yet. Yeah. Did you experience it, JD? You were uh, confused. No. None. Yeah, when you were like in elementary, like it was like a 50-50 shot. Half the kids were confused, you know. Well, and this is how confused they are. Half of them have their pants down their ankles. Half of them are like fucking peeing on the uh, wrong wall. They're peeing on the wall over there in the corner. Yeah. And half of them are just like peeing all that, you know. Man, uh, elementary school janitor, shout out did to we, you. Did we shout all just you. pee everywhere in elementary school? There is piss every. That's what elementary school is. It's just there's pee everywhere. We just peed everywhere. Hey, by the way, the show is taking a turn here. We've got some organ donation questions. Uh, Susan yeah, out there says, "Yeah, please, let's answer some." Uh, let's you answer you some think anyone? Questions, ladies and you gentlemen. think anyone wants my ovary with the giant tumor attached to it? Um, Trust me, there's a lot of people in Japan that would be very interested in that. I would sure. actually say there would probably be, yeah, there would probably be people. There you go. There's a market for uh, tumor ovaries. Study that, right? I, I think they have that in vending machines in Japan, actually. Um, Miranda says, I will also donate my ovaries. Uh, more hashtag friend things. So you know, I'm just you, trying to hold back on the do, the organ donating uh, dirty joke. Okay, yeah, okay, yeah, okay. I don't think we're getting I, it I, right here. All right. You can donate your ovaries, but you're going to need to die first, and that's for sure. With no. Um, to no. I mean. No, I don't mean like die. No, I don't. I, that's not, no, that's, no, that's horrible. Oof. No, I, I don't I, think I, they I, have. I don't know. Think. That's do they do bad. ovary transplants? I don't know. I don't even know. To be honest, is, uh, it would be best to talk to uh, the donate life campaign. Who was supposed to be yeah. here. <laughs> Instead of this fucking yeah. guy. I, can't tell, I, know, I, I don't know anything tell you about anything. About whether or not you I just know I saw the day that, one time. Um, yes. I, I don't have answers to that. I don't think Michael has answers to that. I don't think Brian has answers to that. There's zero ovaries on the panel. Any fucking None. answers anymore. No. Not an ovary in sight on this panel. Um, Nowhere. Ovary insight. Ovary oversight. 
Guys, I've got to get back to Holler Nation here. Let me bust through these real quick. Uh, Orman, we're back to we're we're back in the bathroom stall. By the way, uh, someone okay. knocks on the door. Orman says, "Seats taken." Jaron Jackson says, "I say, yo," or I do the home alone and I play a video in response. Brock says, "I usually go yo." Alan Brown, aka Corduroy Brown, says. Uh, hello. <laughs> oh, hello. <laughs> uh, hello. Hello. Ryan oh, Fisher. Hello. Yolo. Yolo. He out. He also puts his mouth up to that little weird crack. Oh, uh, hell yeah! Hell like yeah, yeah, he does. Hello. <laughs> and his lips come out. Yeah. <laughs> You're never gonna look through that crack again, are you? Um, <laughs> Ryan yeah. says it's oh, a big one. Look through the crack. It's a big one. Krishna says, uh, I have a follow-up question for them. Do they have drugs? Question mark. Yeah. <laughs> um, hey. DoorDash. Iris says, come back with a warrant. Uh, Logan. <laughs> here's where it gets weird. And uh, three hours after that response, here's where it Logan, gets weird. Logan says, come back with a warrant. <laughs> Two people in a row. Three oh, hours. In the row. What the fuck is going on? God um, damn it. Oh, Harry oh. Allen Kitt says, doors unlocked. Come on in. And that is all from Holler Nation. <laughs> and the bathroom. The bathroom diary. Uh, oh, the three of us. The class of 03. I'm like, just back I'm in like, the bathroom. <laughs> now, I've never listened to your guys' show before, but is it always about bathrooms? Never. Yes, never. <laughs> yep, yep. Yes, it is. Is this... Is yep. this a bathroom themed show? It's, it's really yep. not. Yes, it is. Or it is. I tried this one chili and it set my mouth on fire and I had to drink a two liter of Mountain Dew. Mountain Dew. Uh, Mountain Dew. Guys, can we shout out? Can we shout out this <laughs> this show one last time before we yes. get out of here? Yeah, can we please? Can we do it like sort of in some what of a right, right way? Oh, Shit, I'm we sorry. We can do it three different ways. Here, I'll start. Watch, watch this. Um, Holler Nation, thank you guys so much for tuning in this evening. Whether you're listening on Spotify, YouTube, whether you're streaming live right now, please head on down to live to save lives.com. There's a show on April 8th. The doors open at six, the show starts at seven. Who are we even kidding at this point? Donate some organs. See you there. Boom. Okay, JD, you're up. What's up, dude? All right. Yo, it's uh, absolutely fantastic. You're going to be able to see Arlo McKinley, who literally runs the business. Uh, you're also going to be able to see Hello June. You're going to see Jace Turley won a competition to open the show, which is really, really cool. They actually got that that job done. Um, yo, and also, uh, <laughs> as you're doing there, you'll be able to donate life. You'll be able to sign up for organ donation list. Uh, one organ donor can save up to eight lives. One tissue donor can heal up to 50 lives. It's it's crazy. Uh, it's insane. Friday, April 8th. Or six shows They've up. got public bathroom stalls in They've there. They've got public bathrooms. Uh, Dr. Dre will be there. Nope, nope, that's nope, nope, you can't, nope, we can't, nope, we can't. That's not true. We can't say that. We we'll edit that out. No Dr. Dre, guys. Uh, it's, and it's then, Dr. Michael, uh, anything that we missed? Um, I just, you know, want to remind everybody, uh, if you know how to use a bidet, please let me know. <laughs> um, and, you know, I'll be seeing you through that, through that crack. <laughs> See you through the cracks, Holler Nation. You heard it here first. If you've made it this far, if you've made it this far, how did you make it this far? That's really the question. I'm going to smash a bunch of buttons, and we're going to get out of here. Hey, live to save lives.com. Thank you so much, Michael, for being here, and thank you to Lee Pennington. Uh, I hope everything is going well with you. Uh, let's Everybody, please show up. Paramount Arts Center, April 8th. Let's go, ladies and gentlemen. Woo! We'll see you in the cracks, guys. See you later. <laughs> well, way down yonder on the Chattahoochee, it gets hotter than a hoochie coochie. Bill, 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 Bill. Looking on 
chili dog. Have side tips. Sucking on chili dog. You're beautiful. Sucking on chili dog. Come on, Barbie. Let's go party. I'm an Indian outlaw. Diabetes. All right, Holler Nation, we're out of here.